The BXR Battler is an Energy Solar 450 pulse rifle with a unique Legacy PR55 frame introduced during Season of the Lost in the Bungie 30th Anniversary event. And in Season 18, Bungie not only updated the BXR with new perks from this season and previous seasons, but they also made it craftable with red borders being obtainable through running Dares of Eternity activity, as well as ranking up at Xur's Treasure Hoard and opening chests using treasure keys which are acquired through Star Horse bounties and running Dares of Eternity. So in today's video, I'll be revisiting what I think are the best PvE and PvP god rolls to consider with its new perks, whether you're crafting the weapon or just want a decent random roll. So without further delay, let's dive right in. So starting off with the PvE god roll and column four, I would go with the perk Incandescent, which is essentially like having Dragonfly or Firefly, except it doesn't require precision kills. Just by defeating a target, you're gonna spread Scorch to nearby enemies within an 8 meter radius, and it does apply 30 Scorch. So, in general, this is a great perk to have, but it's even better if you're running a Solar 3.0 subclass. On top of this, with the enhanced version of this perk, you're going to get more Scorch and increased radius, making this perk that much more effective. Now, another great option is also Blunt Execution Rounds. This is a fantastic perk if you're running a melee build, as it puts out an insane amount of damage. The only drawback being it does require a little bit of setup, but the good thing is it just takes melee damage and not melee kills to proc, and it's going to give you 500% extra damage on your next shot. Do keep in mind though, it does have a 4 second cooldown before you can reproc this perk. Moving on to column 3, there are really a few perks you could go with here. I know for me as a hunter that has been using solar and arc primarily, I would go with the perk Pugilist, which essentially is like Demolitionist, but for your melee, just by getting final blows, you're going to get 10% of your melee energy back on each kill. And by dealing melee damage, you're also going to get a plus 25 to handling for three seconds. Now, if you don't care about getting your melee back and you'd rather get your grenade back, then Demolitionist is still also a great option, which just like Pugilist will give you 10% of your grenade back on each kill that you get. Both of these pair really well with Incandescent, especially if you're running Solar 3.0. You're going to be killing enemies left and right so quickly because of the Scorch spreading to all the different enemies. And with you getting stacks of Solar buff, you're just going to see explosions and you're going to be constantly getting your melee or your grenade back. Now, if you don't really care about ability regeneration and you already feel like you have that covered and you want something that's going to make you more efficient, then Outlaw is always still a great option. It gives you a whopping plus 70 to reload speed as well as a 0.9 multiplier. After all these years, it's still a fantastic perk, especially if you're like me and you love fast reloading weapons. This is going to help you be more efficient and help you to output incandescent more often. Moving on to column two, I know for me, I want reload speed to be as fast as possible without sacrificing demolitionist or pugilist for the perk outlaw. So I would go with flared magwell, which is going to give you a plus 15 to reload speed and a plus five to stability. Now, if you care more about stability, then I would go with something like ricochet rounds, which will give you a plus 5 to range and a plus 10 to stability. Or if you prefer to spec into range for longer engagements, Acherize Rounds is also still a great option, giving you a plus 10 to range. It's really going to just come down to your personal preference, but really either of these perks are your best options. And finally for column 1, I would go with the perk Arrowhead Break, which is going to bring our recoil from a 70 to a 100, making it completely vertical and also giving us a plus 9 to handling. Now if you're on mouse and keyboard and you don't really care about recoil direction, then you might want to go with something like small bore, which is going to give us a plus seven to stability and plus seven to range. And finally, for the masterwork, I would go with range. And for the mod, I would go with minor spec. So just to recap, the PVE god roll in column four, incandescent, column three, pugilist, column two, flared magwell, column one, arrowhead break with a range masterwork and a minor spec mod. Moving on to the PVP god roll, starting off in column four, I would recommend going with a perk kill clip. This is going to be your best all around option no matter what playlist you're in, whether you're playing in 6v6 control, comp, 3v3, or even trials, this will be your all-around most versatile option. Once you get a kill and reload, you're going to get a 33% damage buff for 3.8 seconds. The great thing is, because you can craft this weapon now, you can also get an enhanced version of Kill Clip, which brings that up to 5.5 seconds, which doesn't sound like much on paper, but can actually make a big difference. Now, if you want a perk that's a little bit more competitive for things like 3v3 elimination or even 
trials, then I think Eye of the Storm is also a great option. Just by getting damage, you're gonna get a plus 30 to handling, a minus 40% to your accuracy cone size, and a minus 17% to your accuracy cone growth. I have found this perk to proc more often than not, pretty much in every situation, and it's gonna help you be a lot more accurate, giving you a little bit of an edge in your 1v1s and just PvP in general. So I would definitely consider that if you want to be more accurate. Moving on to column 3, I would go with the perk Killing Wind, which is going to pair perfectly with Kill Clip since it procs on kills. It's going to give you plus 20 to range, plus 50 to mobility, plus 40 to handling, with a 30% reduced ADS movement penalty and a 5% increased damage falloff distance. In my opinion, this gives you too many benefits to ignore. Now you could go with something like Perpetual Motion, which just by moving around at 2 stacks is going to give you plus 15 to stability, handling, and reload speed. Speed. So if those things are more important to you, then definitely go that route. Really either one of these perks will work well. Now if you do want something that's going to help your ability regeneration, whether that's your grenade or melee, you could go with something like Demolitionist, which is going to give you 10% of your grenade back on a kill, or Pugilist, which is essentially the same thing except for your melee, also giving you 10% of your melee back on a kill. Both of these are great for ability builds, not to mention they can actually come clutch in more competitive game modes where your abilities are a lot more important. Moving on to column 2, I would go with the perk Ricochet Rounds, which is going to give us a plus 5 to range and a plus 10 to stability. And finally for column 1, I would go with Arrowhead Break, which is going to bring our recoil direction from 70 up to 30 and give us a plus 10 to handling. And finally for the masterwork, I would go with stability since we're already getting a plus 20 to range and a plus 40 to handling with Killing Wind to help bring those stats more in line with each other. And as for the mod, I would go with targeting adjuster, which is going to bring our aim assist from 85 up to a 90. So just to recap, for the PvP god roll in column 4, I would go with Kill Clip, column 3, Killing Wind, column 2, Ricochet Rounds, column 1, Arrowhead Break with a stability masterwork and a targeting adjuster mod. Well, that's going to wrap it up today, Guardians. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you, Guardians, later.